guys, Eli here. Welcome to part 6 of my Petrified Review series where I go through issues of the infamous Petrified Zine of the early 90s and review releases that were covered. Today, I'll be reviewing Eulogy for a Dying Fetus by Skeletal Earth from 1991. Skeletal Earth formed in 1988 in Madison, Alabama. Probably not the best location for a thriving death metal scene, but what do I know? They would put out three DIY demos by 1991, two of them being live recordings. Skeletal Earth played death metal, but with plenty of thrash, grind, and even punk and hardcore, giving them that crossover sound not unlike Cryptic Slaughter and The Accused. 1991 would be the year they felt ready to finally record their debut full-length album, Eulogy for a Dying Fetus. Could this be where Dying Fetus got their name? I think there's more than a chance of that. Eulogy was released by a Dutch label called Foundation 2000 and was recorded at legendary studio Mora Sound in 1990. This album is just pure chaos right from the intro with brutal thrash riffs that bleed right into track 2, No Room for Mortals, which is a high energy track that kind of shows you exactly what the band was about. You hear all of the elements that comprise the music of Skeletal Earth. What I noticed instantly was the maniacal vocals of Travis Ogletree. He switches back and forth between Barney Greenway-style death metal shouts and Blaine Cook-type punk-style screams. I should add that bass player Jared Reed and drummer Doug Sylvia also provide backing vocals, further adding layers and intensity to the Skeletal Earth vocal sound. The album has 16 tracks, clocking in at 39 minutes, 44 seconds, with most songs being well under 3 minutes. It does not slow down much, mostly alternating between mid-paced death thrash and short bursts of grindcore-inflected death metal. By now, it should come to at no surprise that the lyrics are mostly socio-political. You can tell these boys had something to say, and they are pissed off, lashing out at things that would only get worse with time. Fast forwarding to 2023, you may not hear Skeletal Earth mentioned too often anymore, but just last year Vic Records reissued eulogies so that it can live on, which is exactly how it should be. I'm going to give Eulogies for a Dying Feet a 7.5 out of 10. It's a good album that has stood the test of time, maybe not as good as what Napalm Death or The Accused were doing around then, but some fans will consider this a classic of the time. Yeah. 